Hi, this is Mission Winners. Well, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. Sorry for that glare in the back. The sun's shining through. We got snow here. It's bouncing off way out there in the common ground, and I just love it. So we're sitting here talking about pocket pivots. One of our VIPs asked about pocket pivots. It's a good thing. So let's switch gears here and go to, we're looking at FUV. I'm just going to show you a few stocks. FUV. So here, let's do a couple here. A pocket pivot is a spot where you can buy early before the longer base breakout. Now this is very important. When you look for a pocket pivot, make sure that it's a relatively clean entry spot. Not, not something really fancy. Something that it's easy for everybody to see. So I ask you, I drew this flat trend line here. Do you see any other trend lines on this chart in this period of time? Anything? Well, how about this? Right there. Connect the highs here and here. And I need to share this with you. Please don't think it has to touch to the penny. No, just eyeball it close enough that it gets there. And here's the trigger, and this is important. When it pushes through, this is a pocket pivot point down here. When it pushes through that line, clean and simple line, look for that volume pickup. And that's confirmation that people saw it and they acted on it. Look at the volume pickup, folks. On this bar, the stock did 2.3 million shares. On this bar, it did 5.3. More than double. That's a pocket pivot. The one constraint also, you got to give it maybe a little bit more room. Okay, let's see if we can find another one. Okay, we can do Microsoft. There's a bigger base breakout right here, but watch this. I'll draw it. Let's connect the tops. Okay, close enough. And always know this, when you're drawing the lines, you don't have to be wired so tight with it. But just connect in some tops. It's simple. You know, you could draw the dang thing with a crayon. And what do you look for in the pocket pivot? Pushing through a clean and simple line. And it does it on a pickup in volume. And it did. Look. Look at the volume pickup. There you go. That's a spot to buy. Let me see if I can find another one. DraftKings had a pocket pivot here. Didn't really do much. But it had one there. Let's see if we can find any others. We'll just go through and look at some. Okay. Lifting off a moving average, you have a pocket pivot down here. I'll do this for you. You can say, oh, look, it's on right here. It's bouncing off the 8 EMA or through the 8 EMA and bouncing off the 21 on a volume pickup. That could be a buy spot. Now, do you go big on those? No, no. All right. They're not as reliable. So you buy less shares. And there are two constraints, well, several constraints. You want a good market, and you want it lifting through a spot that's easy for everybody to see, and you want a volume confirmation on it. And you had it right there. Pocket pivot right there. And the next day, it gaps and follows through. There you go. Pocket pivots work. They're not as reliable, okay? And that's not a criticism, please. Just, just explaining things. But for a lot of breakouts don't work, too but you just got to try to stack the deck in your favor. Those are pocket pivots. They're very useful. It's a great question. Drawdown does not exist in this dojo. Ha! Anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And let's get back to it. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.